Hi everyone. Today we will learn about uh, how we can use the return value of our function that defined in the word in CPP programming language and also we will talk about uh, how we gonna use the local and global variable in CPP programming language. Okay? Firstly we need to give some definition about the what the variables variables means that the uh, you know the in the previous lessons uh, we have talked about the variables <coughs> a general <coughs> identifier that can be changed in compile or runtime and so he or it has the specific memory location in your computer and so if we define uh, some specific variables and then we can store the any value any constant value or the any other parameters by using this variable okay and then what is the local or global variable in order to understand the local and global variable we need to talk about the scope of CPP programming language okay because the scope is defined as the <coughs> extends up to which something can be worked with or in simple way we have different scopes or area to define any variable in CPP programming language okay for example if we have the any code in here like this one using namespace and integer main dot and so if I run this code and then I can build this code like this one and if I give the sum definition in here and a can be written by using these terms and so we have the five but the every program which is written in the CPP programming language should have a some specific kind of scope okay for example main is a function is a general function but main possess the what the open and close parentheses or fancy parentheses in here and so this is called the local scope okay because the everything that's defined in this area or between two parentheses should contain this variable as a local okay <coughs> but what about this if I'm defined any variable in here like this one integer B and so this is our the global scope or file scope okay because the every function can reach this variable in the what in the consecutive order of this function or the forward iteration should possess this b variable okay but the a is not the same idea or the properties of this kind of scope okay and so how can we understand the this structure in here we should give the some specific example in order to understand the, what is the local or global variable okay firstly we need to talk about the what the local variables firstly we need to define the some specific section in here 
like this one this is defined in or within in the what a function or a block okay and so if we have the any function or any block in our code and so we have defined to what the variables which we call it the local okay for example if we have the integer a in here like this one and so we can give the what the a is local variable okay and so this is what the between the two fancy parentheses in here and so we can call it the local okay for example if we define the any other parentheses in here like this one and integer b is to what two and so we can also written as a b is the local variable in here okay and also we can give the a value in here like this one and then the b is local variable and Q and the other part is the A is equal to what the 6 okay <coughs> this is also local variable okay but what if from right the what the B is to what the B value is in here like this one and so If I'm using this code and so the debug tells us the error exists after running the pre launch task or we cannot compile this code because we have a problem in here like this one B was not declared in this scope how does this happen it's sourced or caused by the what the, these fancy parentheses in here because in runtime operation or compile time operation the compiler seeks to what the integer a in here and so integer a is current or present until to the what to the next fancy parentheses this is our scope to what to use the a but if I'm using the any other parentheses or any other blocks in here like this one and so B is defined in here but at the end of the, this fancy parentheses and so B is terminated or destructed by the compiler and then this B cannot be seen at the what at the outside of this fancy parentheses this is what this is are the local scope but this local scope scope is specialized by the what these fancy parentheses and a can be used in here but the b cannot be used because it's destructed but what happened if i'm using the a is in here like this one <clears throat> this is the error to what to our code error code in here but what if if I'm write this code in the what in the second parenthesis in here if I'm using this parenthesis and so the B is equal to the what to a is equal to the what the six and after that we have the another printing function in here like this one a is 6 and so these are the another rule to what to use the local space because because this integer a is or is terminated until to what goes the code into the what this fancy parenthesis but this fancy parenthesis or this scope or the scope two and this is are the what the scope one scope two 
is present while the scope 1 is okay but after the scope 2 is terminated and then we cannot utilize the b value or any defined variable within the what the scope 2 but in scope 2 we can use the scope 1 variables because the scope 1 is present in our algorithm okay and so these are the first example about the local variable in here okay and so this is the another example example two in here like this one okay <coughs> and so what if if you are using the any other function in here like this one for example integer h is equal to what 18 okay and so if i'm using this code and then the c out the h is to what the h okay what if or what happened if i'm run this code or compile this code if i run this code and then we have error because the h was not declared in this scope because this function includes only the h but the not the main because the h is created at the beginning of the this fancy parenthesis and is terminated at the end of this fancy parenthesis okay this is called the function block okay and so this is also a local variable okay the function block <coughs> means that uh, these two parentheses without no fancy parentheses and so if I'm create the integer a and integer b called the function block in here okay but this is also local scope or local variable okay and so we cannot reach the h value at this time but if i'm read this code like this one h is h and lee okay and so if i run this code there is no specific error but if i'm called the funk value in here like this one um, i'm sorry five four and then the h is 16 okay there's no problem in here because the h is seen in the what in the this function block okay and so if you are using this notation and then we can also utilize a and b value in here okay but this a and b value is only present are only present in the what in this block or function block and also h is current in the what or is defined in the what the function block or with the beginning of this fancy parenthesis and at the end of this fancy parenthesis okay and so this is our second example in here like this one and then we can move to the third example okay and so what about the global variable global <coughs> variable <coughs> means that the a variable can be which can be accessed from any part of your code or program okay for example if we define the integer global value in here like this one 
which is equal to 5 and so we have this information and so C out main global is equal to the what the global value in here and leave and so if I run the main global is equal to the 5 look at this uh, this variable is defined in the what in the outside of the main function but we cannot reach this global variable into the what into this space or or wait display function can be defined like this one and so see out display global in here global and Lee okay and so main global is only written at this edge because we should call the display function in here like this one and then we can use or utilize the global variable in the what in the display function or in the main function okay and also also we can update the global variable in here like this one global is equal to 10 and so we can copy the display function and so what happened if I run this code like this one and so the firstly display is calling and so display global is equal to the 5 and then the main function body is what is run at this moment the main global is equal to 5 and so the global variable is updated in here like this one and then if we call the display function again in here and so this global value is updated to the what the, the 10 value okay and so we can reach the any from part of our code or program to the what the global variable okay this is the main advantage of using the what the global variable okay start the third example in here and so we need to create the more complex examples in here Firstly, the display should be running here, and so if I run this code, and the global is equal to five, and may global is equal to five. Okay. What happen if we define the global value in here, like this one, six, and also we give the main global in here, like this one, and so. If I run this code and then the global value is to what global is equal to the 6 and there's no syntax or in here because this global overrate or overwrite this what this global value and so this global is the local variable and then it's procedure for the what for the main function body and so if i define the new variable with the same name of the what the global value and so if i use these things and then the function or the r code seeks the closest definition which means that this global value okay or this global is updated is to the what 10 value and so the main global is the what the 10 and so how we can reach this global value in here for example if we have the global global is equal to the what we have the resolution operator in here like this one with a specific operator to what to reach the any global variable in CPP programming language and so if I run this code and then 
we have the main global in here like this one 6 and main global is equal 10 but the global global is equal to the what to outside value or the any other value from the what this notation and so if we if we want to reach the global variable in here like this one and so we should put the <coughs> left side uh, left hand side of this variable name to what to resolution operator okay and so <coughs> We have this kind of information in here and so we can create the display function again in here like this one see out display is equal to what the global value and andly can be used at this time okay and so if I run this code, the display, and if we have these things, and so display is equal to 5 because this display is calling in the what in the main function body, but the, this global value is what possessed by the file scope or global scope, which means that this global is equal to what the global value or a. A, 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 and so this A possesses what the global value or global function scope, and so this A can be reached at the what this termination value. But if I run or define the any variable in here like this one which is equal to 2 and so if I run this code again and then display 2 is 2 because the A is seen or search with what the closest value or closest scope at this time or in the first place and so this a is defined in here and so this a is assigned to this value and so display is equal to what to 2 and so main var is equal to what a is equal to 6 and the global war or var or variable is equal to what is equal to 5 okay <coughs> this is how we can utilize the what the global and local variable in cpp programming language okay and so we have this information in here like this one and so we can iterate the r codes with the what with the return value definitions okay return value what is the return value in cpp programming language or c programming language every function should have a return value except the void function void function returns nothing but the any other function or any other variable related function should have the what the return value with the specific type of the what the variables for example the integer or double or char or something like that or any other class variable okay <coughs> and so this is the what the a variable value or the a value to what returning to the functions function success or failure or a value generated by the function body okay 
For example, if we have the what the integer display function body in here, like this one, C out a is equal to the what a and li. Okay, and so display can be called in here, like this one, and then. we have at the output of this code is to what a is equal to the what to 5 but we can return the values in here like this one and so if you return the what the 1 and then we can is success check the r algorithm results in here and li okay because if we run this code and then its success is equal to the what a is equal to the 5 okay because because this display is calling in here right now and so the a is equal to 5 in the first place should be written at this time and then this and li is calling in here and so display is returned to the what the success value in here for example if we remove this term in here like this one and then the display is calling and its success is equal to what one or true values in here like this one okay this is our the what the return value of this possession or we can create uh, any function in here like this one integer a and integer b value and we can return to the what a plus b at this time look at this this is the a variable but this is also a, a variable hmm okay and so the c out the 5 plus 3 is equal to the what the summation value with the what 5 and 3 is calling in here okay and so 5 plus 3 is equal to the 8 but the, this integer value is another variable from the what this value and so this a is different from this a because it's a called the function block or function body or local variable but this a is to what is the global variable okay for example if i'm uh, using this notation in here like this one <coughs> if I run this code <coughs> and there's no syntax error in here but but this return should be removed at this time but if I change this value is equal to what 15 and so if I run this code again and so 5 plus or 15 plus 3 is equal to what to a 8 and so this process does not change because we should call or we have called the resolution operator a or global variable of a at this time okay and so if i want to change this variable in here and so this return value should be given like this one 15 plus 3 is equal to what to 18 okay and then seven that your a is equal to 5 okay what if if I call this function with these parameters okay 
and so there's no syntax error because the main function is run at what at the beginning of the sum function calling operator in here with the parameters of the 5 and 4 and so what happened if I change this variable with this notation and so the C out and Lee and so this equal to what x equal to 5 and so if I change the a variable in here like this one and so this 8 okay C out a is equal to the a and D can be written like this one and so it's called the a 8 and a is equal to the a what happened if I use this notation in here one this present uh, for the what the R notation in here and so if I run this code and then the problem is expression must be a modified L value in here or we cannot assign the what the this a resolution operator in here but if I put the reference notation in here like this one and so if I run this code and then a is equal to the one what is this this is called the reference operator in CPP programming language in C programming language there is no reference operator but but in C++ programming language this can be assigned to any variable in here like this one and so if you have the any global variable in here and then we can assign the any <coughs> right value or R value to the what to the left value in our notation because though if we have this kind of function body this code what reference value of the a a is global operator in here like this one and so we can assign the any value or constant value to the function body because the, there is no function body in here with the usage of the water reference operator in here it's an advanced topic of the what the CPP programming language, but you should uh, know or learn about uh, how we can utilize the reference operator in here. Okay. And so we have this information in here. We can create the sum another example in here, like this one. We can call it the swap operator in here integer a or integer b okay and so integer temp value is equal to what a integer a is equal to the b because the temp is assigned in here and so b should be equal to what the temp okay and so a in the first place in the swapping operation uh, is defined assigned to the a and so a value is assigned with the v and b is equal to temp and so this two value is swapped with the other terms okay and so if you are using this swap operation in here like this one swap five and four okay we can call it at like uh, this one and integer a is equal to 5 integer b is equal to 4 okay and so a and b and c out a and b like this one and so if i run this code and uh, i'm sorry a and b and so this two variable does not change at this time but but what happened 
if I use the global variable in here, like this one, integer b4, okay? And so, if I rerun this code again, and then, there's no change with what 5 and 4, because it's local variable, and this is the global variable, but this integer a and b value is to what equals to what the local one, not the global one. Okay, and so if I delete these terms in here, the comment line, and so if I run this code, and so voila, this is also a 5 and 4. Why? Because this a and b is global variable, like this one. 10 and 6 can be assigned in here. 10 and 6 is written on this picture. But <coughs> in the swap operation, integer x and integer b should be equal to what this value, but it's the copy values of this 10 and 6. <coughs> and so <coughs> this integer a and b value is or are the another variable or different variables in this scope okay and so if i delete the swap operation in here like this one and then if i run again this code and then the 6 and 10 is swapped because this a is right now equal to the what the global variable this also b is equal to the what the global variable okay and so how can we utilize these terms for example if we have the integer x and integer y value in here like this one the a and b can be given at this moment but but if I run this code and then we have the 6 and 10 or these variables are swapped to each other because this in integer x value is equal to what a value y is equal to what b value not the b not the a if I using the reference and so the maybe result is changed but at this time the swap take to what a and b values not the a or not the b and so the swap is also utilize the global variables a a b b okay and then we can swap this function like this one but if i change this code x x y and y and so there are no swaps operation in here 10 and 6 at this moment okay and so <clears throat> in this week we have ended our lesson i hope you have learned uh, everything what i have talked about uh, local and global variables and the return values of the function body in cpp programming language have a nice day.